Hello and welcome back everyone, and that was a fantastic snap by the way. Today we're going to be looking at the new things, new things in Space Simulation Toolkit. As you can see, the planet screen here has a new new image, and look, there's like a ton of new things here. There, there's a bunch of simulations, uh, Lava Lamp, which I think I inspired by making, making the lava have a negative you know, mass so that it would float out and kind of go all over the place. But this one, Asteroid, is what I'm really interested in. And I'm interested in setting it to 4.8 million particles. Because this will set up your very own planet with an asteroid. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Okay, this may have been a little bit too large. It is actually chugging a little bit. This game generally does not chug. But oh boy, this is like the limit of what my PC can handle. My RTX 4090 is struggling because this is absolutely bringing it to the limit. This might be a little bit too intense, but I'm all about intensity. So let's go ahead and just see what happens. Oh, we turned on max stuck. The dirt's going to fall down properly. The oceans are absolutely massive. Look at those. We got the, the top of the ocean over here being heated up by the sun turning into steam and we just we got quite the simulation going on here we got plants trying to grow on the surface i just think that the size of this is causing funny things to happen i've seen i've seen what this simulation is supposed to look like <laughs> um all right we're gonna go all the way through though i want to i want to see what happens I mean, we're getting, we're getting a nice hot core. We got the mantle. It's all very happy. We got the crust. Uh, the water has all frozen. Um, but that's okay because there's an asteroid incoming. That's that's the scene. It's called the asteroid scene. And it's called the asteroid scene because there's, there is a giant asteroid. Like, goodbye. Goodbye, particles. I'm removing you so that the simulation may run a little faster. In response, I'm probably going to be deleted from the real world to make the real world simulation run faster. I deserve it. Wow. It's getting very warm. It's getting very warm in here from the amount of material... <coughs> <coughs> the amount of material that's crushing down. This is, this is pretty intense. I mean, it's all over in a moment. There's, there's no way... There's no way that this survives... Oh, man, the sun is so powerful, too. Yeah, this simulation was definitely not designed for this scale. But, uh, I'm gonna have fun watching what happens. The center of the planet looks like it's undergoing nuclear fusion. It's not actually, but it looks really interesting. And here we go with actual impact. I know, I know it's lagging a little bit, but I want to see the large, I want to see the large impact. I want to see it happen. Here it goes. You know what's funny? My lights have flashed multiple times. I think my computer may be pulling too much wattage right now for, for the, the electrical in this house. <laughs> uh, wow, look at it go. Holy moly, look at it absolutely vaporized. I've never seen that. It's becoming like literal just atoms flying out. That is way more intense at this scale. Let's get rid of some of this so that the simulation runs a little bit faster. There we go. We're starting to get our frames back. It's not like these atoms are going to do much anyways. They're just going to fly to the edge of the universe. But look, look at, look at this. This is just crazy looking. The core. Oh, and the shockwave finally passed all the way through and now is ejecting, ejecting the ocean off the other side. Wow. Look at that. That is insanity. Insanity. Now we're we're getting we're getting some some performance back, which is helping it run a little bit faster, so we can really see what's happening. But yeah, the entire outer shell of the planet, the crust and the oceans were just absolutely expelled. They're just gone. So let's try that again on a smaller simulation. 
uh, to see if it acts a little bit more how I would expect. We'll do like a 2.4 million particle. Yeah, that's much more reasonable. Much more reasonable. Same issues happening with the dirt, though. Gotta turn down that max stock. Also, if you do control space, you can go frame by frame now, which is awesome. Frame by frame. That's something that the simulation did not have before, and it's going to be super useful in the future. Especially when testing things like uh, rail guns, weapons, that sort of thing. It's going to be awesome. Alright, let's see what happens here. We got... Similar experiment going on, just many less particles. Many, many less particles. It's so much smoother, though, when I'm not using every last scrap of GPU resources. My GPU thanks me. Alright, we're going to have collision between very large asteroid and planet in five, four... Three, two, one, Mississippi. I counted way too fast. Five, four, three, two, one, impact. Oh yeah, look, look at that vaporization that occurs right there. That is, that is just beautiful. Look at the core. Oh, and then the shockwave. I'm tracing it with my mouse, that shockwave going through. And then it hits and just ejects everything off. That is insane. So this is excellent. If you're wondering how to make a planet that's like functional, this is a great place to start. Uh, this default simulation really helps out. Of course, I've created my own, which I think are a little bit cooler. But still, this is really, really cool stuff. Um, I, I think these are going to do a lot for the game, and the ability to frame by frame is also just really useful. I mean, look, look at the size of this planet, and it generates it depending on the size you choose. So even if you have a really weak computer, and you choose like the... I'm actually curious what the smallest asteroid simulation... 25. 25 particles. 50 particles. Uh... I think, oh, I think that's 25,000, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's 25,000. Look at the tiny little planet! Oh, it's so cute! The planet is so cute, look at it! Oh, that's adorable! Okay, can we get this on phones? Just at, like, this scale? This is still great. I, I love that. I love that this game still functions beautifully, even at this tiny, tiny, tiny size. And this is actually coming in really fast because of the scale, but if I control space, we can frame by frame it. Let's frame by frame this. So this is a miniature planet, 25,000 particles being frame by frame hit by a, an asteroid. And wow, it, it looks so... Oh, it ripped it apart entirely! Oh, that the bonds between the particles because it's so tiny, wow. That was intense. I wonder if there's something to just doing it on a smaller scale as well, so that each particle has a little bit more, a little bit more impact. Uh, let's try, because I've, I've always done like the largest sizes possible, because I've always been like, oh yeah, that's the coolest, more is better, but like, well, like there's something about this. There's something about less particles that is enticing. Like, look how big the grass can grow, because comparatively, the dots are so much larger. And now we have our asteroid coming in. And when it impacts, we have... I like how the initial impact, the water actually takes some of the heat off. It probably does its best to save the planet, and then this water actually gets trapped too in between becomes steam, which just causes even more pressure to form, and then boom. This moment right here is the moment that you just know that you're not going into work today, but the boss is still gonna complain, you know? Your boss is still gonna be like, why aren't you going into work? 
I do wonder if this will affect the local trout population. Oh, I love, I love the shockwave coming out and just splitting the stone. It's just such a cool effect and then everything ripping apart and falling back down. And then we get this kind of, it's now deformed because of uh, max stock. So we gotta turn that down. All my homies hate max stock. All right, there we go. Hey, you know what? It, it actually recovered from that really quickly. I like the smaller simulation size. The, the amount of force and energy is so much smaller in the impact that it can kind of just survive it. And the ocean's helping to cool down this side of the planet. Nice liquid cooling system here. PC gamer moment. Uh, and I mean, there's a little bit of fire. The plants, the plants are burning, but it's okay. The water is coming to save them. Yay! And the planet's slightly rotating now too, so that's kind of cool. The rotating planet, actually, the planet. Oh, what? The sun is moving. Oh, there's an orbit thing now. Oh, that's so cool. So you could have day-night cycle simulated. Oh, that is really neat. I'm a huge fan. Okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta test this on my planet. Where is uh, planet, planet extreme? There we go. Okay, I want to see. I want to see what this looks like on mine. If I can get the uh, same effect, it's, it's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. We're doomed. Doomed. I ran out of GPU memory, guys. Ran out of GPU memory. We're gonna have to restart the simulation. Can't wait until someone restarts the simulation we're all living in. Then I uh, get to start at 1 AD. I'm going to invent banking. I know you're all gonna hate me, but like I'm gonna be the one who's sitting on all the money. So, you know, you should have invented it, losers. Okay, it looks like the saves, it would appear that the saves are not entirely compatible with the new version. Now, this is just a guess. A guess based on what just happened. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do that again, but if I can just not unpause it, does it start unpaused? Okay, so the issue it Okay, the issue is that this uh the CDE heat I believe was changed. It's reweighted now. So we got to change the CDE heat to be much lower. Like much much lower. Much 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 lower. How about Uh-oh. I turn it to zero. Nope, some, something is still very wrong. It, it would appear, it would appear that the saves may be broken. I may have to ask Mr. SST how to fix that. But uh, the, the new moving sun thing is really, really cool, so. And I still have to cover the new uh, biology stuff that's been added at some point. So keep an eye out for that. But overall, new new planet simulation with asteroid impact. Try it out. Or watch me try it out. Uh, well, you just did. So very exciting stuff. That orbiting sun. I'm going to try to go ahead and create another planet myself to try to make up for the fact that my old one is absolutely destroyed. But overall, frame by frame, orbiting sun, you know, all this stuff is super exciting. So thank you, Mr. SST. Good update. I give it 9 out of 10 update. One point detracted because my favorite save exploded. Um, it does say in the thing that there's a way to migrate saves, though. So, it says you can convert old saves. Ask on Discord. But I don't use Discord, so I'll ask on Valor. 
which is a chat platform you should join. I'm developing it, and Mr. SST, creator of this game, is on Valor. So am I. So join Valor, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.